Tonight, a business in Cape Coral is growing mushrooms inside of a warehouse. Yeah, thanks for staying with us for Fox 4 News at 6. I'm Jane Monreal. And I'm Shari Armstrong, but don't be too quick to judge, okay? Fox 4's Colton Chavez shows us how urban farms like this one are working to feed our Southwest Florida communities. Take a look. You won't find any seeds or soil in this warehouse off Pine Island Road. But just like your traditional farm, this plot of land is growing some tasty treats with an urban twist. I've got about 15 different types of mushrooms that I'm trying to grow. Uh, from lion's mane, bear's head, comb's tooth. It's called urban farming, and for most shrooms in Cape Coral, owner Mike Olsmolski has it down to a science. We're taking an oat seed that has a mushroom mycelium growing on it, and then we're taking that grain seed and putting it in a bag of sawdust and soy, or sawdust and uh, straw, or just straw, and they love that, that mycelium eats that rotten and decaying wood. They are then placed in one of these highly controlled tents where the mushrooms are allowed to grow out of the bag. Mike says it's not as complicated as it looks and says the most complex part of the entire process was cooperating with the zoning restrictions from the city of Cape Coral. They, they really didn't want me to do this in this warehouse. Um, they wanted me to do it in a, a agricultural part of the Cape, which doesn't really exist anymore. And, and as you can tell, I don't grow in dirt. But by October, Mike had his family of fungi ready to start growing. He says the entire process of growing mushrooms from start to finish takes just under two months. And Mike's goal is to produce 100 pounds of mushrooms a week. And these mushrooms aren't something that you're gonna have to wait for. Mike tells me that the second after he picks them right out of this tent, they can go straight to your table. We did a little bit more of this, we wouldn't have to buy our produce from foreign countries, get them shipped. Like a lot of the mushrooms that you buy in the store, they're planted in China or in some foreign country and put in a shipping container. But growing your own business can be tricky when it comes to matching competitors' prices. Mike says the price tag for his mushrooms is about a dollar more than what you would find at the grocery store. And already local businesses say the product is worth the price. Never mind's uh, awesome bar and eatery. They've uh, been one of my first customers. Uh, they, they've been taking pounds every week. And for Mike, that's what it's all about. That's the best part of it. Like, you can keep it in your community. You don't have to take it outside. I'm not even trying to go outside of the Cape to provide my mushrooms. In Cape Coral, I'm Colton Chavez, Fox 4. Pretty cool. Thank you so much, Colton.